Hi, Karina. Hi. Welcome to my show, Spill the Tea. Oh, wow. Where I'm okay. going to chat about your show, What Women Want. Lovely. Listen, but where are we doing this? <laughs> I am dying to see your set. So if you'll give me a sneak peek, of I'm course. happy to go shoot over there. Let's go. It's lovely. It's gorgeous actually this time. I did sign myself up at the government law college. I did go for like five days. We know what women want. We don't know what the toddlers want. That's for sure. Fancy. Yes, we keep changing the color schemes each season. I love it. Yeah, and this time it's green. It's Listen, lovely. I'm a journalist. I haven't had a set, so well, it's rather <laughs> fancy. I mean, it's lovely. It's nice. It's cozy and comfortable. Welcoming to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. I know you've become quite the pro at asking questions, but today is my turn. Okay, fine. I'm going to try and figure out what you want. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You know, Karina, you've always <clears throat> known what you wanted very early on in terms of wanting to be a heroine. Mm -hmm. But do you remember when that moment was when you really kind of knew? Was there was was it a set that you were on? Was it one moment? Um, I think as a obviously as a a kid when I was like eight, nine years old, I was constantly dancing on um, Sri Devi ji and Madhuri ji's songs. Mm. You know, it was always like concert. Yeah, it was like I saw whatever song I would see of like Tofa and stuff like that. Those days, I would be like in front of the mirror. I would constantly be you know reenacting. I found myself doing that a lot. I think that was obviously a time where I knew that this is what exactly I want to do, you know. Mm -hmm. And after that, it was always like, you know, just always being on Lolo's set, yeah. you know, so much. Watching her perform all those songs, her working with, um, you know, Govinda and Salman in those dancing away in Switzerland in those songs. I was always like, oh God, I want to be in front of the camera. Can I grow <laughs> up already? <laughs> yeah, so it was literally like that. But was there ever a plan B? Ki if not this, then <coughs> what? I mean, the plan B was always like, it was like, I mean, I've tri I tried my, I mean, I thought I did sign myself up at the government law college. I did go for like five days. And when I saw the size of the books, I was like, um, okay, I don't think this is for me. <laughs> so there was always, I mean, I did keep that option open of wanting to be a lawyer. But I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking, but yeah, because I, I mean, it's like I, I, I can't even imagine myself, you know, um, not being in front of the camera now. Yeah, that's true. Listen, the show is in its fourth season. <coughs> that's more than most hit web series get renewed as well. Mm. What is this curiosity around trying to figure out what women want? <coughs> have you have you figured out? No, I think the vibe of the show has always stood for, um, you know, we've always tried to keep it very conversational, keep it very like uh, non-controversial. It's mm -hmm. it's a warm kind of chat. It's about people who come share their views, their thoughts, their opinions on, you know, uh, parenting, motherhood, what their values are, what they, um, what they think, what they stand for. Yeah. The first two seasons, we always had a lot of different women from different fields, whether it was, you know, we've had a lawyer, we've had doctors, we've had a, a sports personality. Uh, so we've kind of evolved, I think, with each mm. season, you know. And this season, we've had like some amazing guests already uh, coming to share their um, their view, their stand on what uh, you know they think, whether what women want or whether it's about motherhood, whether it's about parenting. Like today, we had a lovely chat with Shefali, mm -hmm. uh, which I think is amazing, and I've always wanted to, you know, chat with chat her. with her and know because she's such an intense actor, and sometimes I feel like. I mean, like, you know, I'm also like, like, I like doing emotional scenes and like, I've always been like, you know, I know that I cry well on screen. So mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm, when I saw Shefali in like, um, her recent work, I was like, oh my God, what like, I'm such a huge fan, you know. So today was such a special day at yeah. the show. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you talked about motherhood and you recently posted a picture of like Jay having this ultimate toddler meltdown. I don't think you thought <laughs> much of it, but in that one post, you made yourself so relatable to so many moms like me. Yeah. I remember leaving a comment saying, thank you for normalizing the toddler meltdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible twos. <laughs> oh God. I mean, like he's still going through that every morning, every evening. I have to kind of like, you know, be like, oh my God. <sighs> Breathe. Pranayams. <laughs> 
<laughs> yoga, walking yoga. <laughs> like when you're like walking around the house and you can be like, oh my god, like I mean, he's screaming, mm-hmm. and I'm like, why is he screaming? He's just like randomly like you know having this kind of you know shit fit. I don't know for what. Just but yeah, we don't know what they want. <laughs> yeah, we know what women want. We don't know what the toddlers want. That's for sure. I don't think that answer. I don't think anyone has. <laughs> yes, yes, that's yeah. season five of your show. That's I think. season five. There, we've got we've, we've got, got a guys. show idea. Season five. Yeah, <laughs> but listen, as a boy mom, and because I'm one myself as well, I'm curious to know, as a mother and a feminist that you are, what are you very conscious of doing in terms of what do you want your kids? Uh, to have in terms of values, raising boys, I know there's an additional pressure on us moms today, right? Yeah. So, what are you very conscious on when it comes to that? You, you know, because of this pressure and there's so much gyan, muft ka gyan jo hai, the har jagah mil raha hai because everybody's talking about ki ye the boy should be like this, this hmm. is the way parenting should be. um that's the way to be there's so many people blogging talking everything is so much i i don't do i don't follow i don't listen i don't you know there's no um blueprint plan hmm. you know there's no list that okay this i have to do this i the only thing i always tell self is that i just want the boys to be kind i want them to be kindness is the most important quality i think and a beautiful quality a boy or a man can have and today in today's world kindness is is forgotten and it's 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 much needed and you know if you deal with kindness in any situation that you are in uh, i tell taimur also i said you know i think you'll be a winner it'll be fine so i i just pray that they're kind gentle um and you know yeah and just be figure it out be a good person i think we we all figured it out you know there was not so much gyan back in the day when our parents were bringing us up mm-hmm. uh they did a fine job uh, i think yeah. and um, we've always both karishma and me been very like we're very close we're very that's what our parents have always taught that's us that's a big win for your parents yeah uh we're very family driven uh we're very loyal i know what friendships are what you know sisterhood is what so these are things that hopefully both the boys are growing up watching and the most important thing they're growing up watching their mother go to work like he my son isn't well today but he, i'm here at work he was upset that i left him but he'll remember the time and i said you know i'm going to come back really soon it's upsetting me that i have to leave you as well but hopefully he'll appreciate that and you know it'll stay with him to respect women a lot more cuz you know we both are working and safe's not even here he's also working in amritsar so he knows he's i just want him to it's it's not about what you kind of like you know make them do or say it's what they're watching it's what they're watching it's just just being around in that atmosphere you know yeah, so yeah. just growing up you know being like saif is like conscious when we're talking to each other also he's like we should keep the volume down also because sometimes when they're excited also they kind of think that okay is what's happening why are they talking loudly so like if he sees us talk to each other like really nicely kindly you know he all of us no other, any whether other it's way. to our friends to us you know to our people around us anybody he should see that so i think it's the visual kind of um, parenting that i'm rather for i think that's amazing yeah really you know the joke <coughs> often is that men don't know what women want is that the case with saif or is he a happy exception <coughs> I don't know what he knows what women want but he definitely knows what I want <laughs> and that's the most important thing in his life right now <laughs> and uh, which is like yeah pretty easy going and um you yeah, relax and I yeah I don't know I think men they do they figure it out at least what women want and they should know by now na yeah. I think well, so well four seasons you have given them <laughs> of kafi gyan diya hai so I think they should know they should know that whatever I mean you know where in my in my house where we uh you know everything's equal everyone's equal that's what it is and that's what we stand for and um, that's what i believe in yeah. what saif believes in yeah and that's what's important you know to so many of us you seem to live like the fairy tale queen queen like the charmed life i want to know cuz i know why? somewhere inside there is that very very normal girl what's the most <laughs> normal thing you do like khane mein kya banao is aapka department yeah uh, everything is my department from planning what my, the kids eat at home what's happening um you know their play dates their classes mm-hmm. what's generally khana ghar pe kya ban raha hai saab kya kha rahe hai i love doing all of that it's i love multitasking i love being um <clears throat> an actor a star my uh, a housewife i love it i love handling the home I, 
if I'm having people over, I like the fact that I'll clean the table probably on my own, or I'll say, "Aise karo, waise lagao." I like, I'm, I get into all of that, and that's also that's so much a part of me, you know. That's yeah. a part of because I think I'm, I, I'm passionate also, and I like to, you know, keep doing something or the other. And like you said, your kids are watching. Every move that yeah. Amma is making. Yeah, exactly. If there's excitement, if like, you know, like the grandparents or someone's coming over, they'll also help. I'll say, come on, help lay the table. I'll tell Tim, you know, something mm. like that. So mm. it's like, mm. you they have to see yourselves cooking and come to the kitchen, you know, like just everyone's hanging together, you know, listening to music. The idea of just watching being together is precious enough for, you know, rather than going to Disneyland. Sorry. But yeah, <laughs> dreading that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to talk a little bit about what your fans want. Uh, Jab we met, re-released for Valentine's Day, and I think it created more buzz mm -hmm. than many new releases have now. Like fans were going nuts dancing uh, yeah. over uh -huh. there. What does that really tell you in terms of the message of what your fans want from you? I think Jab we met can never be recreated because it 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 was a, it was just its freshness, the moment that it was that innocence, you know, with the, which which the film was made, you know, whether it was Imtiaz or Shahid or me. I think the whole idea was that just the collaboration of everything and everybody's energies at that time coming together, you mm -hmm. know, that's what made it iconic. I think everyone um, never thought that, you know, we're going into this film to make you know, the biggest hit or like, okay, we're making the greatest love story. But when you said, I'm my favorite, you didn't know that this cult was going to No, <laughs> not at all. In fact, I was like, I, I, nobody even thought that. And I think that's what happens when you do things without actually also expecting too much out of it and also just, you know, doing it for the love of it and like, you know, putting all your energy and figuring it and, you know, seeing, leaving it to chance. Yeah. Um, and I think that's what everything just is so timeless in that film you know the music yeah. uh, the characters and i'm so happy because I, yeah i recently saw of course that video i saw i saw the video of like people dancing and enjoying it and um, yeah it was it it's it makes me like so so happy because it truly is um, one of the best films i think in all our careers and it's all 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 thanks to the people and our fans and the audiences who went and made that movie yeah, yeah, and you also have two very exciting releases with <coughs> yeah. Joy and Hansel's Hansel. film. What is it that fans can expect there? They seem like thrillers. What can you tell us? What what space will we see you in? It's obviously very different to um, whatever I've done before. Mm -hmm. It's also going to be my the first time I'm going to be debuting on Netflix. Mm -hmm. So with Joy. So I'm very excited about that because I somehow feel that coming at home on television screen on the OTT platform, you know, the challenges are a lot more because mm -hmm. you have to kind of engage the audience. And now there's such amazing stuff out there which people are consuming. Yeah. So um, I, I think it's going to be like pretty good. I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it is. And it's also I had a lovely opportunity of... Uh, working with fresh minds, fresh people like Jerry Palavat and Vijay Varma, who I've you're not used to seeing me yes. with, so it's it's a different kind of setup. So I'm really looking forward to people, uh, for people to watch it and you know enjoy it. In terms of just uh, tapping your acting muscle, does it help when you work with like newer people? Like, did you find yourself? Completely. So, I felt I felt like a newcomer because I was like the yes. way they're performing. I was learning literally like from every shot. I would be like. Because you're not, you're, you're there as, I mean, of course, I've worked for like almost two decades, but I felt like a literally like a newcomer standing there, like, okay, I have to do this and deliver because like every time they would give a shot, I would be like, okay, fine. You know, it's not the star. I need to just focus on, you know, the performance. So that was so challenging and so lovely. And so Joy kind of, um, we've been wanting to work together and he's such a fantastic yes. director. I'm truly lucky to have got this particular script to have worked with Sajoy on it. Yeah. And finally, like you said, it's two decades in Karina. That is a yeah. very, very... 23 actually. 23. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. what, what is it that you want now? <coughs> Nothing. Like, what's Hopefully the new goal post? Is there one? No, there was never really a goal. And, and I don't think there is a goal kind of thing. You know, like, okay, oh, this is it or that's the ultimate. That's what Shefali also said today, something so wonderful. She said, you know, we're all really happy and everything and I'm like, satisfied but I'm not satiated so I think an actor should never be satiated 
let's just be satiated with our meals but mm -hmm. not with our performances because then you know even if it's like once in four years three years whatever there'll always be like a good film and um i've always said that i hopefully want to be working till i'm you know like 70 years old 80 years old that because because i don't know anything else i love i love doing it so hopefully we'll always have parts for um us women out there and great parts yeah, can i just say thank god you didn't go to law school after 5 days <laughs> oh god <laughs> i i'm i'm can't i'm looking at those books and i was like getting dizzy i was like this this is not happening <laughs> finally what are you hoping that your fans and people who just have been following this show for four seasons what women want what are you hoping they take away from the fourth season i think they take away like you know warmth love convers real conversations um it's not really staged it's not you know um like i said it's not controversial it's like people who watch it should obviously feel like it's they're talking about such important things they're leaving such important messages but also um we're also having a little bit of fun so we've got a couple of games that you know uh we have our guests playing uh but also of course we don't have a hamper so but that's fine <laughs> you look like you're having a great time yeah. thank you for having me on this very fancy set it's <laughs> yeah. been my pleasure entirely thank you for talking to me on thank spill you. the tea <laughs>